The Geek Vape Cerberus sub -ohm Tank The Cerberus sub -ohm Tank from Geek Vape was sent to me for review from HeavenGifts.com. This is a 27mm tank that uses mesh coils and it has a 5.5mm e-juice capacity. So let's talk more about it. It's 27mm in diameter, it uses mesh coils, has 5.5 mils or 4 mil e-juice capacity depending on the glass that you use. It's a bottom airflow tank and it comes in black, blue, gunmetal, rainbow, and stainless steel. You can get it for $33.90 at heavengifts.com. In the box, you'll get the Cerberus tank with bubble glass pre-installed, a spare 4 mil straight glass tank, two Super Mesh X1 coils, one of them pre-installed, a user manual, and spare parts. The Cerberus comes with one typical A10 Delrin drip tip. You can use other A10 drip tips in here just fine, but because the included tip is about 18.6 millimeters wide, you'll need one that's about the same size if you want it to sit flush on the tank. But even smaller tips look fine on here. The top cap is exactly like the intake RTA, if you have one for reference. I love this design because rather than threading it on, instead you slide it under those tabs and it sits really secure. That means you don't have to worry about the threads getting so tight that you need pliers to get it off. So I'm a big fan of this design. The one drawback with this though is that it's a little tight. You need to push down hard before twisting to get it on and off, but I have noticed that it gets looser over time. But other than that, it's good. The fill holes are big, so no problems getting e-juice in there. The Cerberus comes with bubble glass pre-installed, which holds a max of 5.5 mils. The package also has a regular straight glass tank, which holds four mils. If you're running this tank at high wattage, which is what it's designed to do, you'll probably want the extra capacity of the bubble glass. Putting the tank together is as easy as any other tank. I did find that putting the glass onto the top cap section first works better than putting it, the glass on the deck first. But other than that, just screw in the coil and put everything back together and get to vaping. The Cerberus uses what Geek Vape is calling a super mesh coil system. I'm not sure what makes it super mesh, but honestly, these coils kick ass. They're the same coils used in Geek Vape's Illusion Mini Tank, the Aero Mesh Tank, and the Shield tank so if you're looking for replacements you'll probably find them listed as im and aero mesh coils the coil that geek vape designed this tank for is called the super mesh x1 coil which is a 0 0.2 ohm coil rated to work best between 60 to 80 watts but it can go up to 90 watts and i've been using it 90 watts just fine you can also buy the 0 0.4 ohm im1 for 40 to 60 watt vaping or the 0.15 ohm im4 coil for using between 60 to 80 watts. They cost around $12 to $15 per five pack for the IM1 coils or around $20 per five pack for the high wattage X1s. Interestingly, the Cerberus is also compatible with Smoke TFV8 baby coils. I'm really surprised that Geek Vape actually mentions this on their product page since Smoke is technically a competing brand, but I love that they did this. I think it really makes this tank even more useful and appealing. The TFV8 coils won't perform anywhere near as well, but it's good to have this option if you've got them laying around. This is a bottom airflow tank, which means it's designed for better flavor, although that does make it more likely to leak. I haven't had any problems at all with leaking though. I filled it up tons of times, I leave it in my backpack where it gets tossed and turned, and no leaks whatsoever. The airflow control ring moves smoothly and stops in both directions. You can close it down pretty tight too if you want to get a restricted lung draw, or you can open it wide open to get massive hits on the 90 watt coils. The airflow is a bit turbulent, which makes the tank a little noisy, but nothing too annoying. The flavor from pre-built mesh coil heads have been amazing in every tank that I've tried them in, and this tank is no different. The flavor is crazy. In fact, this might be the best flavor that I've gotten from a mesh tank yet. I can't believe how good the flavor is. So HeavenGifts.com sells the Cerberus for $33.90, and in my opinion, it's totally worth it. There are really only a couple of cons that I have, and it's that the airflow is a little loud, and that the top cap is a, is a little hard to take off. But that's it. The airflow doesn't bother me, and I'm guessing that over time that the top cap will continue to loosen up, so those aren't big deals for me at all. But the pros make up for everything. It's easy to fill and set up, the X1 coils perform perfectly at the max 90 watts, and the flavor is so good that I can't see how it can get any better. Alright, so that's it for this one. Thanks for checking out this review, and I'll catch you on the next one.